Good morning, GHS. I'm Cameron McDougal. And I'm Alicia Bajos. And, and welcome, welcome to, to The, the morning, morning Show. show. <laughs> Good morning, GHS students. I'm Kaden Sayo. I'm Ethan Taylor. I'm Cameron McDougal. I'm Tyler Lauder. I'm Annalise Lauder. I'm Alicia Bifos. I'm Nick Rousseau. I'm Delaney Duran. I'm Sage Pino. I'm Annalise Nightingale. And welcome to the morning show. And welcome to the morning show. And welcome to the morning show. And welcome back to the morning show. And welcome to the morning show. And welcome to the morning show. We have some big news for you today. The King and Queen of Courts activities are a go. It's been some time since we've celebrated this occasion, so we should all be excited. For now, we want to share the dress up days leading up to the Queen of Courts dance. On Monday, January 30th, it's Bikers vs. Surfers Day. Tuesday, it's First Letter of Your Name Day. Wednesday is Country Club vs. Country Day. Thursday, Your Type Day. And Friday is Jock Stereotype Day. All of that leads up to the big dance on Saturday, February 4th from 7 to 10 p.m. Stay tuned for more information. We also know the names of the King and Queen candidates. Let's share those names with you now. Nominated for basketball are Dominic Valdez and Delaney Duran. Wrestling candidates are Luis Otero and Ashton Gibson. The choir nominated Sean Stevens and Eden Silcox. And last but not least, the class of 2023 nominated our very own Matthew Morales and Serena Antonio. We will have these candidates in the studio very soon when they will let you know why you should vote for them. In other news, the application for the National Honor Society JHS chapter is open. For those that are interested, they can email Mrs. Pasamante or visit her in room 241. That will take place on February 10th of 2023 at the Grants High School Old Gym. We'll bring you more information as the event gets closer and we will have a team out there to cover the event. So Alicia, what is the lesson you have learned that still stays with you today? Uh, well, a lesson that stays with me today is if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. Agreed. Reporter Estrella Fong recently asked people this very question. Let's see what they said. My name is Estrella Fong, and I'm here with Jester Hernandez. And today I'm going to ask him um, what life lesson has stuck with you throughout like your whole life. Yeah. Uh, the biggest lesson, the most valuable one for me, has been to never give up, to keep pushing forward. Um, I know it sounds kind of cliche, sounds kind of, you know, whatever, but truly, right, not not every day is going to be a good day, not every day is going to be, things are going right, okay, but that sticking through that adversity, staying with it, seeing it through, just never giving up, right, fighting to see the next day. Yeah, that's very good. Thank you. Of course, thank you. Hello, my name is Jay Fong, and I'm here with... Hello, I'm Angelique. And today I'm asking her what life lesson has stuck with her. Um, for me, I have to say, it's never goodbye, it's always see you later. Yep. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mr. Eric Fong, and I'm here with... Mr. Cablin. And today I'm going to be asking him what life lesson has stuck with him. Um, life lesson, so when I was in high school, so I had this teacher in science who always mentioned before we start the class, start of the class, mm -hmm. so he said that, um... This principle in life, like when you commit mistake, mm -hmm. learn to acknowledge and never do it again. So I applied that in my life. That's why I'm very careful on my actions being a teacher. Because um, me as a teacher, I can make or break one's life. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm very careful on that, to commit mistakes in front of my students. That's very, that's very cool. That's, I feel like people should follow that. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mr. Fong, and I'm here with Miss Amper. And today I'm going to be asking her what life lesson has stuck with her. Um, one life lesson that um, struck me the most is always love what you're doing because sometimes there are things that we don't like doing. And so if you don't like the thing that you're doing, it will like, um, it doesn't give good outcome. So I always put in mind to always love what I do even on those hard days. And so thinking with that mindset, it gives positive, I guarantee you, it gives positive outcome. It gives good vibes and happy vibes all day, every day. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Now to sports news. Prospective golfers come to the JHS Golf Team Meet and Greet. Meet the team and coaches on Thursday, January 26th at 4 p.m. at the Coyote Del Malpai Golf Course. Please bring a parent or guardian all skill levels are welcome from beginner to experience. 
Baseball is around the corner, and that also means the same for baseball tryouts. Let's go to Matthew Morales, who spoke with GHS senior baseball player Nicholas Bustos about this topic. I'm Matthew Morales, and today I'm here with Nick Bustos. And today I'm going to be asking Nick some questions about baseball tryouts. So Nick, when are tryouts? Uh, tryouts are January 30th and January 31st. They start at 3.45 and then at 5.30. Make sure to have a physical when you try out. Bring your baseball gear and shoes. Okay, and um, what should kids wanting to try out expect after tryout? Um, just expect to work your hardest and have fun. Okay, and um, I, my final question would be, are you guys excited for the season? I'm very excited. Uh, last season, it didn't really end how we wanted it to, but we had a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to this next season. Okay, I wish you guys a lot of luck. Thank you. For lunch today, we will be having a taco salad, beans, and applesauce. For breakfast tomorrow, we will be having Pop-Tarts, fresh fruit, and milk. Well, that's all we have for today. Hope to see you again, and remember, we are GHS for success.